All right, here we go. Friday, January 18th, update. Uh, I guess about five minutes left. Right now, the Dow is up 300 points. Uh, S&P up over 30 points. So we are going to have a very decent end of the week here. Great, great gains in the stock market this week. As I said would happen last week, I told you that the 2600 level on the S&P would be temporary resistance. All right, we pulled back. And then I said it was going to go through. In fact, earlier this week, a couple of times I said it's going through. So we're up around 2640, 2650 on the S&P. That's great. As I said, all during the month of, November, of December when we had that big hysterical decline. And you could go back and you could look at my videos that I made over the course of that period where I talked about uh, the highly emotional state of the market, the irrationality of the selling. Investors were dumping stocks, good companies, at prices that were ridiculous. Yet at that time, the fundamentals, the underlying support in terms of the fiscal support, in terms of the banking metrics, and I talked about that so many times, loans and leases going up, bank credit going up, bank assets going up, bank net worth going up. All of these indicators were not only getting better, they were accelerating higher. Some of the stocks Bank stocks were among some of the stocks that investors sold the hardest. And I told my subscribers, you've got to be buying these things. Probably the most severely undervalued sector in the whole entire market. And you see it all starting to come back right now. I had a guy in December send me an email. He was a subscriber. Crying like a baby because I said to buy the dip and then it kept on going down. I mean, crying like a bee, and I don't want to say the word. Uh, all of that decline has pretty much been erased right now. Let me tell you something, people. If you can't experience or, or endure a month's worth of market gyration, a month worth of volatility, then you're in the wrong game. I'm sorry. You might as well go to Vegas and play the crap table because you're in for some kind of really short-term gambling. The whole object of this, number one, is to buy low and sell high. Number two, more importantly, is to buy value. And these episodes of market panic that are not justified, and again, during that whole entire time, you can go back and look at my videos. I was talking about the economy being strong, the underlying conditions being supportive. These are the times when really the market is being driven not by some condition in the economy which is causing a contraction, but sheer emotion. That's when you got to step up and that's when you got to go in. So all of the decline pretty much of December has been erased. I had this guy, of course, he canceled, right? He quit uh, because he got highly emotional, highly emotional. But if you can't endure one month, what is one month in the life of an investor, which is going to be a long-term proposition? Look at Warren Buffett. Guy's worth 80 or 90 billion, and I've used his example so many times, it's a great example. He never created anything, any new industry, never invented anything new. No new product or service. The guy was simply an investor in the stock market, buying and selling stocks, but he used the concept of value. He used the concept of contrarian investing, and he had superior mental gain. He had patience. In fact, he once said, the market is a mechanism for transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient. These are great words. These are profound words. And they're very simple. This is a very simple idea. But most people can't do it. It's a lack of emotional maturity. It's a neediness a neediness for results now, the inability to put that off, put that neediness off to the future, to say, I can wait for the greater prize. I can wait to remain focused on the long term, to remain focused on what the true conditions are. Most people can't do that. You saw the comments up here on this channel over that period. You had people literally run to write comments on days the market was down, ha, 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 the market's down. Where are they now? Where are they now? 
So we are in a recovery mode. The economy is very strong. All along, I have been detailing for you um, the supports to the economy, which are those fiscal supports, and that is the basis for everything I do. The bank supports, bank credit, also very, very important. The whole thing is about money. And again, it's all about mental game. I've said this many times. This is 100% about mental game. And mental game is behavior. It is the ability to have patience, have discipline, and to be able to forestall the need for immediate gratification. It sounds easy, but most of you cannot do it. And there is no system that is going to take you there. There is no such thing as the system fairy. The system fairy does not exist. Most of you out there are looking for the system fairy. One of the great things about doing what I do is I have, I meet people as a result of my business and the subscribers that I have who are really, really inspiring. They come to me, many of them, with little or no background in terms of investing. And I could see the ones very early on who are going to make it because they have that stick with it attitude. They have that no quit attitude. They have the fight in them and they are, they are or they become masters of themselves. And they're not deluded into thinking that there's some magical system out there. They understand what it takes. That each and every person has the ability to make it happen for themselves. But it requires self-control and mastery of oneself. And the idea that most people have that there's some magical system out there that's going to pick them up and carry them across the finish line without hardship, without adversity, without discomfort. They're on an endless quest for that and it's never going to happen. And they'll jump from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. How do I know? For a large part of my own career, I did that, but it does not work. All right, everybody, that's it. U.S. markets are closed on Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Uh, my report will go out on Tuesday. For those of you who want a copy of the report or to see the back issues, just go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com, and sign up for a 30-day free trial. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.